Welcome to the course Asia 353, Introduction to Hindi Film. This week's topic is Partition of India. I'll discuss today the most important event in the modern history of the Indian subcontinent, the Partition of India. I will also discuss how this tragic event has been reflected in Hindi films. At the end, I will take in little more details the film Garam Hawa, Scorching Winds, which is part of our syllabus. Before we start, I would like to make a disclaimer here. While describing the historical event of the partition of India, I'll give here an overall picture of the event. I will not go into deep details, and I will not be discussing the intricacies of the process that led to partition. It will simply be a brief account of the history of the partition of India into two countries, India and Pakistan. So let's start. On the eve of the departures of Britishers from the Indian subcontinent in August 1947, the British government decided to divide India into two countries based on the religious lines, the Muslim majority Pakistan and Hindu majority India. You can see that here in the map. The green colored territory belongs to Pakistan and the orange to India. I'd like to make a small footnote here that the Pakistan then in 1947 had two big clusters of territories. East Pakistan and West Pakistan. They were separated by more than 2,000 kilometers. In between the two territories of the same country, there was another country, India. You can see here in the map that East and West Pakistan were more than 2,000 kilometers apart with India in between. The East Pakistan later became Bangladesh after a bloody war between India and Pakistan in 1971. The second partition, as it is called sometimes, the partition into Pakistan and Bangladesh is not the scope of this lecture, so we will not be discussing this here. We will focus only on the partition of India in 1947. In 1947, a commission was set up to partition India to divide India into Hindu and Muslim majority areas. It was a daunting task to demarcate the borders. It was rather impossible to make clear demarcation into Hindu areas and Muslim areas. On both sides of the future borders, Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, and other religious communities lived together for centuries. There were villages, towns, big cities, where the population was mixed of Muslims, Hindus, and Sikhs, and sometimes in almost equal proportions. During those uncertain times, a fear was prevalent among the masses that if a place, for example, a town falls on the side of Muslim-majority Pakistan, Hindus and Sikhs will not be able to live there. And same with the other side, if the place falls onto the Indian side, the Muslim will have to leave the place. This led to the biggest migration, rather exchange of population in the recorded history of the subcontinent. In millions, Hindus and Sikhs moved from Pakistan to India and Muslims from India to Pakistan. The religious tensions were extremely high. The religious divide led to the unprecedented violence on both sides of the border. Millions of people were displaced, hundreds of thousands of people were killed, and tens and thousands of women were raped. A huge number of women committed suicide to save their honor and the honor of their community. This was a tragedy beyond imagination. Here, I would like to show you a clip from Oscar-winning 1982 film Gandhi. You can see how the scene is realistically and also symbolically picturized. On one side, Hindus and Sikhs are going from Pakistan to India, and on the other side, Muslims from India to Pakistan.
The immense suffering is visible in their faces, the extreme tension in their eyes. Under the skin, the blood is boiling, and just one person losing his temper leads to mass riots that kill hundreds of thousands of people. Here, I would like to give you some numbers and statistics that will help you to understand and grasp the immensity of the tragedy. Please keep in mind these numbers are just estimates, since census records were not very precise then. The population of undivided India, according to 1941 census, was 390 million, out of which 95 million were Muslims, 6 million were Sikhs, and some 270 million were Hindus. The population of Muslims were more or less equally distributed in the future geographical territories of India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. Around 30 million each Muslims live in geographical areas that would later become India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. As a result of partition, around 15 million people were displaced. Around 7.2 million Muslims moved from India to Pakistan, and almost the same number of Hindus and Sikhs moved from Pakistan to India. 2.2 million were missing or unaccounted for. More than a million people were killed in the partition violence. The province of Punjab and Bengal were partitioned. Many cities in Punjab lost a significant number of their population. For example, Lahore was 50% Muslim and 50% non-Muslim. Almost all non-Muslims left the city. Similar was the case with Amritsar. The Muslim population in Amritsar was a little less than 50%. Since Amritsar was given to India, the entire Muslim population left. Karachi, which was a metropolitan port city, also lost more than 35% of its population. These staggering numbers show the bloody legacy of partition. The tragedy of partition is so great that even after 70 years, it lingers on in the collective memory of the people of India and Pakistan. The Hindi film industry has produced many films themed on the partition of India. Sometimes the plot is directly based on the tragic events of partition, or sometimes partition is secondary to the main plot. The films Earth, Khamosh Pani, Train to Pakistan, Garam Hawa are few films where the plots are directly based on the tragic events of partition. Apart from these art films, the partition of India is also taken as subject in many mainstream commercial films too. Gadar Ek Prem Katha, Pinjar, Bhag Mil Khabhag are few big name films with partition of India as their backdrop. As recently as 2019, a film Kalank is produced that has some strong references to partition of India. Every now and then, a Hindi film is produced that is directly or indirectly related to partition of India. It shows the multi-generational impact of this tragic event. The generation that has endured the pain of partition is almost gone but their personal narratives have passed on to the future generations who still feel emotionally connected to these memories. While teaching this course or other courses on partition, I get approached by many students who tell me the narratives of their grandparents, how their grandparents have told them the horrors of the partition or sometimes sweet and loving memory of the pre-partition times in their villages and towns. The partition of India is quite relevant to the Canadian context too because the South Asian diaspora, both Indian and Pakistani here, is predominantly Punjabi. The event of partition still hangs on in their collective memory. Now I'll discuss the film Garam Hawa. Again, the spoiler alert. You can come back to this part of the video after you've watched the film. The film Garam Hawa was made some 25 years after the partition. The story of the film is based on an unpublished story written by a well-known Urdu writer, Ismat Chuktai. It was the first film directed by Anna Sethu. It is a story of a Muslim family, a Muslim joint family, who decided to stay in India after the partition. 
The film narrates the story of the problems and adversities the family has to face being Muslims in the post-partition India. The family was initially large in the beginning of the film, and slowly and gradually it gets smaller and smaller. The members of the family start moving to Pakistan as they find difficult to survive as Muslims in India. The inner family dynamics also play a big role in their exodus. The plot of the film has many different characters and all of them have their individual stories. The common link in their stories is the partition of India. The film puts a big question mark on the idea of India for her Muslim citizens. The film did not remain untouched by the controversies. The film was produced in 1973, soon after the 1971 Indo-Pak War, which resulted into creation of Bangladesh. The film was not released by the Indian Film Censor Board for almost a year, as they feared that the film might instigate the communal unrest. The tension was very high because of the recent 1971 Indo-Pak War. It is believed that a special screening was organized for the Prime Minister then, Mrs. Indra Gandhi, who finally gave permission to release the film for general public. Interestingly, the film that was deemed controversial ironically ended up winning the National Award for the Best Film, and later it was sent as India's entry for the Best Foreign Film for Oscars. Please watch the film, do the readings, and we will discuss it when we meet next time. Enjoy the film. At the end, I would like to sign off with a happy note. Here's a Google ad that shows the connection of partition of India is so real, even to the current generation of South Asians that Google has made series of ads to promote their ad. You can watch one here. Enjoy. This is me, this is Yusuf. I'm a man. 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 I'm a man.
Dios fue por eso por el pelo fue ah, 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 eso fue ah.